Okay, uh, I just purchased a YGP 235 uh, USB MIDI controller from Yamaha. These are great beginner pianos. They go for about 250. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. They sell them. This one I got at Guitar Center. I've also seen them at Best Buy, Fry's Electronics. You can buy this pretty much anywhere. And I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your computer where you can record your tracks and you can use it to control different audio software. I'm showing you how to do it with GarageBand, but you can do it with Audacity, Sonar, really anything that can run on a media controller. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have a power supply, if you're using a power supply with it, you want to unplug that first and you want to have power off of everything. My computer's turned off right now. You want to have the keyboard off, everything off. Take the power supply out. If you're using batteries, that's you can leave them in. But take the power supply out when doing this because you don't want to damage anything. So my power supply is out right now. And the first thing you can do is take your USB cord. This is just a standard USB cable. I think it's uh, about five feet long. And you'll plug that into the USB port on the keyboard. And on these, it's right in the back. And while still leaving everything off, you'll plug it into your computer. So I'm going to take the fat end and I plug that into the USB port on my computer. Go ahead and put it back. And you can use these keyboards with pretty much any computer. The driver it comes with is it only works for Windows XP and Vista, but you can go to the Yamaha website and you can download a custom uh, driver for it for whichever operating system you're using. I'm using uh, Mac OS Snow Leopard right now. So now you can go ahead and turn on your computer. Leave the keyboard off for now. And we'll just wait for this to start up. Only take a second. Alright, so this computer is just about done loading up. Alright, so we have this. Now what I'm going to do is, right now you would put in your driver disk that came with the keyboard, or if you have a custom driver for a different OS, you can also use that. I just downloaded mine here. Can the camera see it? It's kind of light, here. but yeah, that's better. All right. Camera can see that okay? Yeah. So I'm going to go to the file I downloaded and run the uh, installer package. It says Yamaha USB MIDI uh, version 1.2.1 .1 package. You can go ahead and run it. And it's done. And your keyboard is now ready to use. So you can go ahead and turn it on. I just turned mine on. I'll start up GarageBand. You unplug the, the cable one more time. And that's just so the computer will recognize it when you plug it in. Once it recognizes it for the first time, it should already it should know what to do with it. I'm going to go to New Project. Uh, we'll go to... Should I go keyboard collection? I'll do keyboard collection. Make a new song in the key of C major. Here's my little on screen keyboard, which is really nice. But I'm not using that right now. So I'll go ahead and plug the cable back into the keyboard. And it just said right here uh, there's a new. MIDI input device. So now I can go to preferences, audio MIDI, that's output,
and I'll go ahead and activate the driver from the keyboard. So now it works. That should be it. Let's see what we'll do here. We need to record a track. So we'll record a track. Let me see if this works. Hopefully this will work. And you can see it's working. Well, I'm not very good yet, but you get the idea. And that's how you plug in and set up a mini controlled keyboard and record with it using GarageBand. And you can go ahead and play it there. You can turn off your metronome if you want to. I turned off my metronome. And you can hear it. And you have nice effects here that you can use. I can put these different effects on it. And you can hear it changes the sound. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial for using a Yamaha YPJ235 uh, USB MIDI controller with your Macintosh. And you can download this uh, driver for the Macintosh at the Yamaha website. And that's it, I guess. Have fun.